Yeah, Mad Panic Gaming! Excellent. What's up, everybody? Jim here, back with another retro game hunt, and today, no software allowed. We're only looking at hardware retro game consoles. We're talking 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, the works. If they got it, we'll get our hands on it. So I hope you're ready, because that is what's coming up next. All right. Oh, Consoles, yay! Look, consoles and trader. We got the classic PC engine here. Uh, they're selling that for I don't know how much because <laughs> I was a little fast on the draw there. Uh, Twenty nine eighty on a Dreamcast deck though. Uh, so there you go. And sixty four eighty on this Saturn. Uh, but keep in mind that exchange rate right now. So sixty four eighty is probably like forty something bucks. Uh, 12 8 on this uh, solid gold PS2, actually. Uh, worth about, a, I don't know, like 50 grand, but they came down to 12,800 yen, so that was nice of them. You know, they're being quite generous there. Uh, a rather tan uh, Duho R, 26 8. Um, that's under 200 bucks, but yeah, it doesn't look great. And it's got like a core graphics controller with it. SG-1000 Model 2, 14 8 on that. Uh, so that's like just under a hundred bucks. Um, and that's cool, don't come across those too often. We got Box PlayStation, we got this, my favorite version of the Twin Famicom. With the turbo controllers, 23 8 on that. So that's like maybe 160 bucks. And that ain't bad. And that's the model to get. It's got turbo controllers. How can you go wrong with turbo controllers? Especially if you want to play some shoot 'em ups which I'm fond of. Turbo controllers really do come in handy. We got some Mega CDs down here boxed. And that's quite nice. That's purdy. Uh, it seems like they restocked uh, consoles in here recently. The Neo Geo Gold X. We got some GameCubes. We got some Super Famicoms. But they're not looking so snazzy right now. A Duo RX. 38,600 yen. Uh, it's missing some stuff inside though. I had a quick peek at the label there. That's something you might want to have someone tag along if you can't read Japanese to read some of the labels for you. Uh, because with box stuff like that especially, if they're missing something, uh, you want to be able to know what exactly it is they're missing. But hey, here we are in the uh, luminescent Super Potato. These Famicoms are very cool indeed. Uh, they have uh, AV cables. They're modded to play AV 5478, which is much cheaper than the ones I saw at Retro Game Camp, actually. Um, but they come modded to uh, have AV out, and you can actually buy these like universal AC adapters with them. That one's actually over 10,000 yen. Okay, never mind. That's more like it. <laughs> um, I guess maybe uh, if it looks nicer, maybe they, they up the price a bit. Um, I, I personally, I would take a yellowed one for like half the price. Uh, and here we have these like really vibrantly red uh, twin Famicoms. Uh, that's one of the first two models. They're pretty cool, but again, they don't have that turbo controller, so I don't find, uh, I'm not as fond of them. 11.8 for an original Famicom, no mods or anything, uh, but it's complete. And that's pretty cool. And that box is quite snazzy. It's, it's a wonder that those things are surviving. Uh, considering that th they're older than I am. Uh, so somebody really, really loved those things. That's just a wall of N64s. We got a few Super Famicoms here. I guess those have been selling like hotcakes. Actually, when I do, uh, I give tours of Akiba sometimes, and a lot of the people I take around, they like the Super Famicom games. Uh, they're generally my age, and so they have an attachment to that 16-bit era. Orange Spice GameCube. And that's quite pretty, and that's just over 9,000 yen. 9,328 to be exact, so it's about $60 uh, for one of those bad boys. And uh, it does look pretty cool. I don't mind saying so. I like orange, you know? Who doesn't like some good orange? We got some games on display. Some Mario, some random golf game. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, hey, a Wii U for $65.78. You can buy Famicoms for less than you can buy, or for more. 
the hell am I saying? You can buy Wii's and Wii U's for less than you would pay for a Famicom. Uh, so there you go. I guess that says something. Mega Drives out the wazoo. What are they asking for on these? 8,000 something? So there you go. Mega Drives, though, it's, it's considerably less common uh, than Super Famicoms, so it makes sense. They'd be a little more. Uh, and another Mega Drive, too. That's cool. Some kind of Capcom fighting stick, I think, also for the Mega Drive. So that's all right. And some Dreamcasts. I uh, personally am a uh, avid Dreamcast lover. 85, 58, 87, 78. Uh, various levels of yellowing. This Saturn here has a uh, pretty serious tan on it. Not looking uh, so great. That's 76, 78. Uh, and then we got the gray Saturn, which uh, has the, um, the benefit of uh, not uh, going as yellow as the white ones did. And then we got us a Master System. That's pretty cool, but it's just the deck by itself. No hookups or anything. We got an SG-1000 II for just over 10,000 yen. Uh, so that's okay, but again, no hookups, nothing to that effect on it. And then this is, is this a Mark III or something? Yeah, Mark III, uh, 16280. Uh, so that's really cool. Kind of expensive, but again, like 8-bit Sega stuff. It's nowhere near as common as 8-bit Nintendo stuff, so it's going to cost you uh, just a wee bit more. Here we are in Game Camp. They got some cool stuff in here. 39.8 for that PC engine, but it's everything all together. Uh, we got some core graphics here. 16.8. Uh, so that's 100 bucks, a little over 100 maybe. Uh, but it is complete and in very nice condition. And a Core Graphics 2, um, which I don't necessarily know the difference. Uh, 29.8 for this PC Engine Duo R. And uh, the CD-ROM 2 here that's meant to go with the Core Graphics, those are all right. Uh, but they had numerous PC Engines here, which is cool. More PC Engines, in fact. Uh, 198 on a complete original PC Engine, but it's missing, I think, the, the RF cable. Uh, but more PC Engines here than any of the other shops I stopped in. Uh, so Game Camp, they, uh, they like to stay up on their PC Engine stuff. Uh, 38,000 for a Duo R, boxed. Uh, and those Duo Rs are not getting any cheaper, but they are a very awesome system. Got your Hue cards and your CDs all in one. No system cards required, unless you want to play those arcade card games. Uh, we got some Mega Drives, 9800 again, Mega Drives. Uh, considerably more expensive than your 16-bit Nintendo counterparts. And a uh, box Mega Drive, and it's looking pretty nice. It's 198, and everything is in B-grade condition, so that's about 140 bucks probably. Uh, but that's, I don't know, kind of steep, but it's a collector's item. These are luxury items, folks. Uh, we don't need them, but we sure as hell want them. Uh, Dreamcast box. Get up there, Jim. Get a good look at it. It's 80-something thousand or however much it was. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I can't. Uh, my eyes are uh, starting to go, too. And a Sega Mark III box. That's crazy. Um, you don't see that very often. Uh, and I don't even see the price sticker on it, but I imagine it's not cheap. But yeah, I never ever see anything like that. Boxed Mark III, that's a once in a while kind of thing. Uh, we got this cool Soccer Wars Dreamcast, and it's deathly dark in this place. Uh, so I don't know, but I'm gonna guess it's in the neighborhood of a couple hundred bucks. And then these Saturns, I'll close that for you, sir, don't mind if I do. Uh, batteries, the little gold sticker lets you know that they actually put new batteries in these, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so 6800 which, if you've been paying attention, I don't think any of the other shops in town uh, have provided that service so far. I mean, it's a, you know, just a little battery. It's not a huge deal, but that's pretty cool. And 6800 on these standalone Dreamcasts. But, you know, there's just nothing like going home with a Dreamcast and a handful of games. You know you're in for a good time. <laughs> Uh, when you just walk home with that brand new Dreamcast and some GameCubes. The Silver, which I had. Uh, as a young lad. And then 39.8 for this Neo Geo CDZ. And that's pretty damn cool. But that's going to just about do it for consoles. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.